Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. I'm Shotgun Shogun, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Lost Ark and one of the card sets that I have been farming today. And I wanted to kind of get out there because, well, it was a little bit hard for me to find some of the information, and I figured I would pass this along to the rest of you. Now, I have been playing a Mayhem Berserker, and one of the card sets that I was really looking into uh, farming was the Wheel Meet Again deck. Now, this requires the Madnik card the cn card and the vrad card now if we go over here uh we're going to take a look now first off what are cards if you haven't even gotten to the point where cards are uh well one i'm not too sure why you're watching this video but uh it is a little bit of a min max now you have your card catalog right so these are very important as you can see here i do have the three cards for the we will uh we'll meet again deck now it only requires three cards and this is going to reduce your damage by 12 percent from foes at 50 percent or lower HP. If you're a Mayhem Berserker, this is going to be really, really insane. You can couple this with Nature's Elements, uh, but that's something completely different. Today, we're going to be talking about the Wheel Meet Again three set card deck. Now, this does come from Shoeshire, and you are going to need to clear out the entirety of the Shoeshire quest line as you get Mad Nick and you do get Cian from the quest line. Now, the thing is, you will get the entire set from just finishing all of the Shushire quest lines. However, what we're going to be talking today about is how to farm these over time and get the deck completely maxed out. Uh, you want to make sure that you're getting all of those. And it is actually pretty easy to do based on farming as well as traveling merchants. Now, we'll talk about the farming first. You're going to be getting the Vrad drop from the final boss of his dungeon. Okay, so Vrad's hideout can be found in Lake Eternity. Now, it is going to be down here at the bottom right-hand side. Uh, the item level is 250. You can do it on hard. You can do it on easy, however you want to do it. It is a pretty fast dungeon. Uh, I farmed this a little bit earlier. Now, the card is RNG off of the last boss, but this is one of the only ways to get it, and it is actually pretty easy and pretty fast if you're just farming for money and stuff like that anyways. Now, the other way, and this is going to be the Mad Nick card and the Sion card, are going to be coming from traveling merchants in the Shushire area. Now, I will show you where each of them are. Uh, the traveling merchant will show up in-game in Shushire at one of these spots at 1.30, 4.30, 5.30, 7.30, 8.30, 8.30 and 11.30 a.m. and p.m. So you will want to bounce between all of these areas in order to find the traveling merchant in order to buy the card. Now, as you can see, uh, this is Jeffrey the Merchant. I was able to get a Mad Nick card from him, and this is what you will be seeing. This is what you'll be looking for. You will be buying these with silver. So right now, silver is pretty easy to come by, honestly. And for 40,000 silver for one coin or for one card, you will be doing pretty okay. Not only that, but you'll be getting a lot of silver from uh, farming for the uh, Vrad card as well. So I will show you where all of the merchants are. This this one is currently where we're currently at is the ice blood plateau and he will show up right here where I am located at the next location will be approximately here in the frozen sea area. Now, as you can see, he is not here at the moment, but this is one of the places that you will want to check. So he will be here potentially during that time period mentioned previously. The next potential location will be here in the Bitterwind Hills, uh, up here at the top corner of this section right here. Now, this is a little bit away from the post, so you will want to make sure that you come out here to check to see if the icon is available. Lake Eternity will be the next area he has the potential to show up at, and it will be around right here in this middle area. So you will want to make sure that once you get off of the tripod that you do make sure you walk over here to check for the icon as well. 
And last but not least is going to be Icewind Heights, and he should, if he does show up, he will show up right here around the tripod, so look for him around this area. Now, again, as mentioned previously, this will be at 1.30, 4.30, 5.30, 7.30, 8.30, and 11.30 a.m. and p.m., so you will want to be making sure that you are paying attention to the timer and just popping in if you do have the Crystalline Aura, which allows you to try port for free this is pretty easy to just bounce around these areas every couple of hours make sure that you're getting your cards because you do want to make sure you get this card deck to level nine so that you can get that reduced 28 percent damage when you have this deck maxed out uh, at plus nine so this is very very important for the mayhem berserker as well as quite a few other decks as, or cards as well or uh, other builds as well so if you're looking for how to level these all up boom there you go i hope that this video has helped out if you do uh if it did make sure you comment down below uh let me know if there are any other decks that you want me to take a look at i know that right now with lost ark there's a lot of information that is kind of scattered around and it is a little bit hard so i'm going to be trying to make some helpful guides uh, at least for me when it comes to the mayhem berserker build that i'm building so as i get things i will pass them along to you but as always if you guys did like the content make sure you like fave subscribe uh, hit the bell notification because i do stream pretty much daily um, on youtube and twitch as well join the discord follow me on twitter for more notifications and i will catch you guys on the next one take it easy homies Peace.